BBC News. The Republican nominee for Speaker of the US House of Representatives, Kevin McCarthy, has failed in two successive ballots to get enough votes to take up the role at the new session of Congress. The Republicans have a narrow majority in the House following November's midterm elections. The founder of the failed cryptocurrency exchange FTX, Sam Bankman-Fried, has pleaded not guilty to fraud charges in court in New York. He's accused of stealing billions of dollars from FTX to prop up another business. Colombia's largest active rebel group, the ELN, has rejected a ceasefire announced by President Gustavo Petro on New Year's Day. The group's central command said it had not discussed such an agreement with the government. The Brazilian football icon Pelé has been laid to rest in Santos, the city where he spent most of his life. In a private ceremony attended by family members, Pelé's coffin was placed in his tomb at the ecumenical necropolis overlooking the city. The European Commission says there's majority support for EU-wide travel restrictions for people arriving from China, where Covid infections are surging. Beijing has threatened reciprocal action. Two senior counter-terrorism police officers have been shot dead in Pakistan. They were attacked by unidentified gunmen in Punjab province. Ukraine has declared two Russian military leaders criminal suspects. They're said to be guilty of bombing civilian targets. Last year, there were no recorded bank robberies in Denmark. Twenty years ago, criminals targeted banks there every other day. Denmark's economy is now largely cashless. The Portuguese footballer Cristiano Ronaldo has been presented at his new club in Saudi Arabia, Al Nasser. He said his work in Europe was done and he hoped to break new records in Saudi Arabia. BBC News.